and something different from Ajanta Mendis. Our first look at him live, I was fascinated to see the tricks he has up his sleeve. What did you make of it? Well, I get so excited when a, a new bowler comes into international cricket I, and I know he had a sensational start. I've not seen him previously in the flesh and you can see these variations. The one thing, they're not spinning too much and he bowls at a decent pace. I always look at the pace of bowlers and I think that's just an off spinner. But there's not much spin, but the pace is up there. It, it, we talk about Monty Panasar, who bowls too quickly, people would say. I don't agree with that, but this guy is up there at, at high 50s and into the 60s. Mm. So there's no flight on the evidence of what we've seen today, but he comes with a, a great reputation of the mystery delivery, the off spinner, the googly, and something else. What, what do they call it? A carrying ball. But <laughs> it's not. It's not spun, has it, today? We're not seeing anything. But do you think been... he's deliberately not trying to spin it because ah. it's 2020? That doesn't give go on, angles. Ah. And... Now, just wonder that. Is he just showing you what he's got, but he's not giving it a rip? And you mm. can see the seam is very pleasantly mm. just wandering down the pitch. <laughs> not doing anything. The googly he bowls, you were making the comparison with Anil Kumble. Well, I think it's more of a top spinner for him. But for, for Anil Kumble, when you used to play against Kumble, if he held the ball, sort of, you imagine there's a ball there, he sort of held it with his, f with his thumb and his first finger. If you sort of ran in like that, you knew it was going to be the googly. Otherwise, he'd sort of get the whole ball around his hand. Mm -hmm. So that was his variation. But the difficulty is here with, with Mendes, is he doesn't sort of get the ball around his hand at all, does he? All Every time, he's sort of got the ball as if it's sort of ready just mm -hmm. to pop out of the hand. So mm -hmm. I imagine that's a little bit more tricky to pick. But, I, but I just to, to carry on the theme a bit, I, I, if I was brave and bold and I was still playing, I'd try and use my feet. Because as Bumble says, the ball's not really turned. They're, a lot, yeah. they're very crease bound. And with the ball not really turning very much and the pace variations that you mentioned, if you're trying to sweep and play square of the wicket with that, you feel that there's a chance for the ball to zip underneath you and rush your square shots. But as I say, very easy to sit here. I don't think I'd necessarily be brave enough if I was out there to sort of advance down if I wasn't too sure which way it was turning. Looking ahead, Muralithran to come back in the side bowling in tandem with him. That's a potent thing for Sri Lanka to have in this competition, is it not? And Malinga. And so I think they've been at capacity today about 75% so far in this game, Sri Lanka. They've got everything covered. They've got two quality spinners. They've got an electric batting lineup. And I think they're just having a bit of a net here.